How's it going ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new video guys. Now today we've got some massive news coming our way. As you may notice though, I may be speaking a little bit on a lower tone. It's because I still have a massive pains on basically this whole side of my face. Um, I've got a massive sore inside of my mouth on my tongue, which is causing massive pain at the moment. <laughs> like literally, um, like so much pain that I've barely been speaking with my family in real life. I've been trying to avoid speaking. As you may notice, um, I, I may sound like I'm just kind of like, you know, like, it sounds like I've got something in my mouth while I'm speaking. So I do apologize um, for, like, just, you know, the way I may sound throughout this video. But welcome to a new one. And, um, yeah, I've been having to bulk record videos ahead of time now, uh, you know, in, in moments where my tongue feels good. I'm literally using baking soda to make my mouth, like, you know, uh, just to, like, just make the pain kind of like relieve for a minute so i do apologize about my voice either way let's get into the info ladies and gentlemen so we have some little bit of conflicting information here ladies and gentlemen but uh basically what we have in front of us is um is some information that the pokemon company uh as well or rather game freak has removed creatures inc okay uh from their business partner listings on their website now this could be me. This could mean a lot of different things. Also, this could be a situation that could be in a lot of different positions. But let's start from the start here, for you know where we began, and we're gonna go through all the info, all the you know, the new information that keeps coming out as the as, you know as the times going on. So here's what we had. So Jinx Club tweeted, "We do not know anything yet, uh, to be honest, but it's potentially uh, be very bad news as they want to fuse Creatures Inc. with the Pokemon Company." So um, that's like kind of where where the general stuff started. But basically, what's going on is. Uh, Correction, Game Freak's, uh, Game Freak's main, uh, main site stopped listing Creatures Inc. as a major business partner. Creatures Inc. was the main sponsor for Red and Green and was also responsible for the CCG and modeling. So if you don't know, Creatures Inc. is the company that does all the 3D modeling for the TCG, uh, as well as all the 3D modeling for, like, you know, the games and stuff. So, if you look right here, you know, like, if you look right here, you can actually see uh, Creatures Inc. published the following Pokemon models to be the reason for the new Pokemon TCG illustrations contest. So, you can see right here, uh, you know... Some of this sort of stuff, you know, what I mean, like these guys, uh, you know, they're the department that handles all the 3D modeling usually over at Game Freak, right? These are the people who handle that side of things. So it isn't like something out of the ordinary to see, like, you know, um, you know, them, you know, mentioned in terms of 3D modeling. But it's kind of strange to hear that Game Freak's removed them as one of their major sponsors. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because, as mentioned here later on by uh, Jinx Club, a bit, further, a bit further up, it seems like it's a big deal because they removed them, like, Specifically from the partner, you know, business partner, like major business partner. Like, look here. Correction. Game Freak stopped listing Creatures Inc. as a major business partner. It's still big news in Japan if you look around. Um, and you can see Kilios up here actually mentioned something else, which is important to remember. But he pointed out specifically, um, you know, like that apparently they mentioned them in the game section. Uh, and, you know, he was just trying to say that, hey, you know, uh, let's not, you know, let's not have fake stuff being, you know, brought up here or, you know, f you know fake stuff being created. But basically, it's, he said it's BS. They reworked the Game Freak website. That's all, uh, all, uh, wait, mentioned to Pokemon slash creatures disappears from the inter index. If you go into game section, you'll see the mention, uh, which is fair enough. But that's also where then you get a correction from um, from Jinx Club in particular saying, uh, you know, I mean, if we just go back here to what Jinx Club was saying, uh, but then you get a connection, you know, it's, I'm not the only one talking about it, it's not a fake drama, it was on the material, blah, 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 blah. Uh, it's not the point I'm trying to get to. Uh, so here's what we basically we're trying to get to is that um, it's not that, it's not the fact that it's, it's just been like, you know, oh, it's still showing up in the game section. The problem is that they've been removed from the business partner area. That's the problem. And if you go here to Nintendo Soup, they actually have an article about this. So they'll, you'll see actually they mentioned right here, Game Freak removes Creatures Inc. from lists of major business partners. Partners. And if you go right here and you actually look at it, that's exactly what's being said. So let's read through this. Now, Game Freak removes Creatures Inc. from list of major business partners. Today we have some strange and shocking news coming from Game Freak, the developers of the mainline Pokemon games. The official Game Freak website has a list of major business partners, which includes uh, Shog uh, Shogaku Khan, uh, Shogaku Khan Production, a Pokemon Company, and Nintendo. Uh, Nintendo. Previously, the list included Creatures Inc., which is mainly responsible for Pokemon TCG and helps create the models for the mainline Pokemon games. Now, You'll see that right there, of course. Now, as of December 9th, 2019, Creatures Inc. and Shogakukan Productions, are a subsidiary of Shogakukan, uh, Shogakukan, have vanished from the list of major business partners. Many of Jap Japanese Pokemon fans were really shocked by the disappearance of Creatures Inc., as it is a company close to Game Freak and is one of the owners of the Pokemon company. The Pokemon company is owned by Nintendo, Creatures Inc., and Game Freak. Unfortunately, we do not know the reason why, it's, uh, why so it's up to speculation this time. Some believe Creatures Inc. would have been purchased by Nintendo or are preparing to shut down, though those two scenarios are highly unlikely 
likely at this time, which I agree it is highly unlikely. I'm not sure, like, you know, um, if there's really any info, but there's always been a little bit of a conflict, right, between, like, Nintendo's ownership of Pokemon, Creature's involvement, and then Game Freak's involvement, right? Because Game Freak wants to, like, you know, clearly do other stuff as well, because they, they made, like, specifically the that new game, the town game, um, Little Town Hero, they made that as a way to kind of, like, you know, uh, find their own little area to stick into, right? Like, to do other stuff. And clearly, that's just been, that didn't really work out, but they clearly want to try some other things out. But I don't know, it's just, it's just a strange situation. Um... So here we go on, like, next. So, uh, okay, it's on Pokexpo now as well. So, you know, fake drama. So this is relevant, but we may not know uh, behind the scenes for a while. So, yeah, this is true. So clearly this isn't, like, you know, like... So, see, Kilios is just trying to point out that, you know, they still do show up on the website, but on the game sections. They're still getting credited for the games. But the problem is, and as also Pokexpo mentions here, the official Game Freak website no longer mentions Creatures as a primary partner, right? They're no longer a business partner. Creatures has been dealing with the TCG, and yes, they do make the TCG. If you guys see the 3D models and the TCG stuff, you know, they're the other ones who make that. And Pokemon models, among others. From, uh, from the origin of Pokemon, images before and after the web section. So you can see right here, of course, you know, where it shows it, and then in the next one they're missing and i want to kind of look into the other company here as well because it's not just one company there's you know there's another company missing and that's the one uh called shugakukan uh, Shog uh Sho shogakukan 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 uh right which is a business uh, which is a company that i guess um let's see Let's see, see what they do. So, it's uh, a Japanese publisher of dictionaries, literature, manga, non-fiction, DVDs, and other media in Japan. I guess they might be involved with the anime, maybe? Like, I don't know. Maybe not. I'm not sure what their, like, involvement might be. But if we do, like, maybe if we try to do this, do this like, Pokemon. So, yeah. Uh, wait, in South Asia, Pokemon and the future card buddy. Company also partners with local creators, such as... Nah, nah, nah. Uh, so they do use, they do do Pokemon business, right? They do the business with they do business with the Pokemon company and with uh, Game Freak and whatnot. So it's interesting. They're all, they're, okay, part of them has also been removed. Like the Shogakukan Production, a subsidiary of Shogakukan, have vanished. So Shogakukan is still there, but Shogakukan Production is specifically gone. And if we search up Shogakukan Production, I wonder what we will actually get in terms of results. Because I'm assuming that's like uh, that. I mean, they mentioned it's a subsidiary of these guys. So what do they do? Um, Let's see, they have notable, okay, so they do movies, okay, they do movies, so they, oh, they, that's what they, that's why they're involved, right, because they did the movies, they did Pokemon, uh, you know, I guess the anime, Pokemon the first movie, Pokemon, uh, the, the second movie, and Pokemon the third movie, right, uh, and then Pokemon Heroes and, uh, you know, Heroes, Latios and Latias, they did those as well, so that's why they were, they were involved there, so they've been also removed from this section, interesting, so, kind of strange of a situation, and I think I agree with Pokexperto, like, you know, old Melkor right there, which is Pokexperto, I agree, this is, this is relevant. I mean, it, does this mean that something major, you know, like, you know what I mean? Does this mean, like, something major's already happened, or, like, something crazy's already happened, or, you know, shit's going down? I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't really call, like, you know, this as a situation that, you know, we're... What do I call it? I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it just yet. I wouldn't say just yet, you know, hey, it's like, you know... I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, I wouldn't call this... Um, what do I call it? As like a end all is all, this could be like a lot of different things, right? One, this could be a situation where, what should I call it? Um, how do I put it? Like basically, it could be a situation where it's just like a website, like you know, mess up, and they're gonna fix it. They're gonna add back the the missing companies, or two, they're just trying to differentiate, like you know, they're like you know, what which partner does what. Maybe, like, you know, they, they want to put creatures in a different section, but it doesn't make any sense because, like, they have them all in the major, you know, major business partner, partner like, you know, section. Um, so, I don't know. Or it could be that they're cutting ties with these guys or something internally is happening. Like, anything could be possible. But I don't know. Like, I don't know what's going on. So, um, listen, I'm, I'm not going to, like, start calling this as, like, the end of Pokemon. I did initially feel like this could be, like, a big problem because, like, why would Game Freak all of a sudden just be, like, like, if, if this was, like, something then, like, directly removing it from their site, right, you know what I mean, intentionally and in some sort of way to, like, make a point, maybe, like, I thought maybe it could be, like, a, I don't know, maybe some sort of, like, aggressive move, you know what I mean, like, for them to move their own direction, like, maybe that's what, that was the case, but I don't know what the actual situation could be like, like, this could be really anything, uh, but again, like, for, for just, you know, just for your guys' information, Creatures Inc. are the people behind the 3D modeling. They are the ones who make the models for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield as well. And for X and Y and for, you know, Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee. All these, like, you know, games, Pokemon Go. They're the ones who make the 3D models for these things, right? They're the ones who do that. So I'm really surprised where we are right now and how this, uh, this is all panning out. It's a little bit of a strange situation, I will say. But, um, 
I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys think this is major or do you think this is n not not important? Like, what are your thoughts? What are your opinions? Let me know in the comment section down below, guys, because honestly, I don't really know. Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, I feel like this could, I mean, again, it could be major, could not be, I mean, I don't know. Let me know in the comment section, ladies and gentlemen. What do you guys think about this? Do you think Ink Freak is intentionally, like, you know, going down their own little path? Do you think that there's going to be some splits happening? Do you think Game Freak's going to be splitting apart? Do you think Nintendo's going to be splitting splitting them apart or buying up creatures or like what's going on here? I'm really curious. But let me know in the comment section, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks so much for watching. Have this great day and bye bye, ladies and gents.